Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to create an extended depth of focus image in the InFocus camera software. The extended depth of focus option combines a stack of partially focused images into one fully focused composite image based on pixel intensity or contrast. Now, it's important to note that we have a very good contrasting sample so the software can account for the different focal planes. In the software, once we have a nice live image and we adjust our settings accordingly when we're happy with what our image looks like, we can then start considering our extended depth of focus stack. In order to start this, we hover over this icon called EDF, or you can also use the shortcut shown here, Control F. When we're ready to go, we want to focus on either the top or the bottom focal plane, and then click this icon. Now you'll notice a window appears here. This is our live view in the lower left-hand corner, and the image seen large is the actual stashed, uh, stitched image. So when I'm ready, I simply slowly focus. In this case, I'm going down through my sample. Now it's important to use the fine focus and go pretty slowly and avoid any vibrations. And you can see in the lower left hand corner, my live image is moving as I focus down. And as I get a few layers uh, down, you'll start to see that the image on the main uh, window here is actually starting to build the image live in real time. So going halfway through here, you can see now this part's in focus, these top legs of my specimen are in focus, and I am now just about getting down to the bottom part. You want to go all the way through from the top to the bottom. Don't go too far past either end, but you definitely want to encompass all of the focal plane. When we're ready and we're done with the image and we're happy with the results, we then click the same icon here called EDF to end my extended depth of focus. We can then, uh, really just to highlight what we showed here, we can then uh, click and drag just like a, a window, a tab in a window, you can click and drag these uh, images. And on the left hand side, you see I have my live view image. My right hand side is my EDF image. You can really see how much depth uh, there is in this sample and how nicely the extended depth of focus tool does to capture all of that. Now one thing to understand is on stereo microscopes, there's actually two optical paths. They're kind of offset and they're coming in at a slight angle. When we look through it with both of our eyes, we realize and achieve that depth of focus. However, a camera only essentially has one eye and it can only look down one optical path. That's important to understand for a few reasons. One is, uh, the main reason is here on the left-hand side, you can see that um, my, my image is a bit poor on the left-hand uh, maybe inch of this uh, window here. That's because the actual uh, sample in relation to the camera is shifting as I focus up or down, called parallax shifting. There are microscopes that can combat that, but for most microscopes, you are gonna get this distortion, but it's an easy solution. In the InFocus software, we can crop that out by going to Edit, Image, Select. We can then draw a box around the area of interest, essentially removing this left-hand side. We then go to Image and Crop, and now we have our cropped image, really nice, all in focus. From here, we can then save. I have some videos on different ways to save, but you can click the save icon. It's gonna ask me where I wanna capture it. Do test, and now we have it saved, and uh, it's it saved to our computer here. Um, that's the quick tutorial on how to do an extended depth of focus uh, stitch in the InFocus software. Uh, important final note is this does not give us Z height data. We are turning this knob by hand, Therefore, I don't know the exact travel range I went as I turned. In order to get Z height data, you need a motorized Z column. Again, a very big important thing to understand. Uh, no Z height, but a very, very nice all in focus image, but no ability to measure in Z. That concludes the video here on how to capture an in focus image uh, using the extended up the focus module in the in focus software. For any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you.